so now we've got Mountain Hardware's, their mountaineering tents. New tent for them called the Outpost, redesigned tent, a tweaked tent called the Trango Series. There's a two and a three person, and this is a two person. Great tents, let's get into them in detail. The Outpost is a new tent for Mountain Hardware. It's a four season tent that's kind of designed for 4,000 meters and below. So it's most of North America. It's a 30 square foot tent. Um, good space, really nice weight to it, and a very strong tent. What makes this tent so strong and livable are a few things, but let's talk materials first. So the tent structure is using, so the DAC poles, and this is the NSL construction. NSL is interesting. You'll notice how there's blue and red here. You have two different diameter poles in the same pole line. That's kind of a unique structure. And what this allows is for more vertical sidewalls. More vertical sidewalls means more livable space inside the tent and just better, better living area. So it's a, it's a really unique way to do this. It also adds to the strength of the tent. Um, when we talk of livability, you want a dry space to live in. So the floors on all of the expedition tents are a 10,000 millimeter floor. It's a PE coating versus a PU coating. The difference there is durability, basically. The other thing that increases the waterproofness on all of the mountain hardware tents is the actual thread composition. So we talked of strength earlier with a lap felled seam. So that's what we see through here. But we also see a blended thread that's being used. This is a polyester interior on the thread, so a core of polyester and an exterior that is a cotton. When this is sewn into place, it actually uses a blunt needle. The reason a blunt needle is used is that it pushes in between the threads, doesn't cut threads. When this tent structure, if it gets wet on the outside, which it will, just living, even though there's a tent fly over it, the cotton swells a little bit. In so doing, kind of constricts any water flow through that little hole that that needle made. The uh, polyester core of the thread is the strength and it doesn't allow water to move through the whole structure. So even down to thread selection helps make these tents more waterproof and more livable. The outpost as you see is a clipped tent. There are a couple of spots where there are hubs like this and as you can see to make life easy it's color coded as well so red pole goes to red tab, blue poles go to blue tabs. But when you put this last pole structure over, you wanna make sure it goes over the top because that's how it clips through this little structure here. So again, this is allowing extra strength and ease of use with gloves on or not with gloves on. Being sleeved, but having spaces here allows for airflow to keep the condensation down, but gives you a very strong structure. The last thing to talk about ventilation is inside the tent, you will see that there are these little structures here to again, increase airflow, or it's meshed so you can keep that closed to keep the bugs out and still have good airflow. Okay, so now we have the fly on the tent. A Little bit of a side light, strength, durability, great pegs inside this tent. So if you're gonna use ground pegs, that kind of a thing, nice structure, DAC pegs, still quite light, but very strong. Comes with the guy out points. We'll talk about guy outs in a second. And it comes with a tent splint, which hopefully you don't use, but always good to have. Guy out point, reflective of course, and is Velcroed. So you are connecting the strength of this guy out point to the skeleton of the tent. So you're gonna have a much stronger structure. So guy outs are important, especially in a four season tent such as this. So this guy out point is now connected to the tent structure itself. And obviously you'll use this cord that it comes with, put it out to another stake and help support this tent. Here it's a PE coated fly, but there's also a silicone impregnation. That silicone impregnation helps with waterproofing, but it also helps with the strength of this tent. The silicone helps keep this nylon from sagging. If you have much tent experience, you'll know in the morning when you wake up after a damp night, uh, dew point drops or in lots of rain. What happens is the tent gets kind of saggy. So, you know, if I was to do something like this, the tent ends up kind of looking and hanging like this. So from a mountaineering test standpoint, if you have a saggy tent, 
one of the issues that happens, and again, see from seeing this in wind tunnel testing, is the wind blows onto this tent and then builds into here and captures more of that wind load. So you're increasing the stresses on this tent. If you have a fly that is nice and taut and has less sag on it, so tighten this up, that wind that comes across here is not going to pull in and create pockets to trap more of the wind's strength. It's going to blow over and move past this tent. So not having the nylon sag in a tent is very important from a comfort and aesthetics. It looks nice for all the rest of it and from pooling water potentially, but it also makes a, a difference when it comes to the ultimate strength of this tent. So the silicone impregnation in the new Trango and Outpost is a great thing. But you'll notice that this also has, if I pull this out, there's a little structure here. You lift this up, connect it into the blue pocket. So all it does is slide into that pocket. That keeps this open so that you can get some added airflow into that tent. Vestibule, quite large, lots of space. We open that, we see, again, a vertical entrance. So you're not going to be getting wet. If you walk away from your tent, you've left it open, come back and it has been raining for a while, it's unlikely that you're gonna have a big pool inside your tent. Inside this tent, we've got bathtub floors, very waterproofed, lots of space for two people, very vertical sidewalls. I'm six and a little bit, you know, I've got the space that I can sit inside this tent and play cards. Great ventilation. Um, couple of pockets so you can put gear and organize things once you're inside the tent. So Outpost 2 is a 30 square foot tent inside. You've got uh, 12 square feet of vestibule space a little bit off the back side as well. So enjoy your Outpost. Mm -hmm.